सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ Today is our eighth of twelve class, starting uh, type with Rahu. So here is the the wheel, and observe that those four slices of Rahu, Jupiter, Saturn, and Mercury are going to take more than fifty percent. Okay, it's seventy of one hundred and twenty years. That these periods here are going to take 15, 13, 15, 14. Okay, so this is 13. Um, we have like 30, sorry, um, 45, 68, 69 percent of the total, and this is going to create an impact. Now, I'm very proud of this, uh, this slide here. Have you uh, seen any of those films? We saw Danny Collins, but we saw that one when you were talking about um, Venus. Okay. Um, you suggested Danny Collins during Venus as well. That's when we saw it, but we also saw Matrix and... Good. Um, um, yeah. I did not go for the chart of that guy that is the real Danny Collins. But this we are going to have a different approach that also can be that is uh, I'm tired. Uh, I don't want to go with that nonsense anymore. And um, this fortunate man it's a very interesting story about uh, a guy that is trying to be um, revolutionary. Revolutionary, it's an important word for Rahunion um, topics. And did you see the matrix, third, uh, the last matrix, the talk of Neo and the architect? Have anyone seen this? I'm not going to ask you to watch all the three matrix for that scene, okay? We are going to comment that. And do you know who this guy is? He's a kind of a famous guy. Sir Darth Vader, one of the most uh, famous characters of modern movies. And here is the master of no, this is Darth Vader itself, but it also has that CD. Uh, we are going to comment on those. So today we have Satya Sai Baba, that uh, one here. Uh, there was no woman that it was uh, famous for Adra, George Orwell, Charlie Chaplin, uh, Whoopi Gobert, Cindy Crawford, and Elvis Presley. Um, so I took uh, Sai Baba as an extra there. And these are the nakshatras. Ara, Swati, Shatabisha. Um, sometimes they're going to say as Shatabisha or Shatabishak. I think it's more appropriate to say 100 physicians, 100 or a great number of medicines or cures. Do you remember uh, Miss Alanis Morissette that we discussed in the previous session? I I almost got her into those charts, then I remember that she was here. And now we have what we came to do today. So the first period is going to be up to 18 years if the person is born in the second pada, it's going to be 13 and a half 
less. In the third nine years and the fourth four See, it's of Rahu Mahadasha. There is going to be um, the door now, it's closed. See, one door can make a lot of difference in the internet sign. Now the sign is going to be much better. Okay. Listening? Yes. So the Rahu type is necessarily, without a doubt, the person is going to have 16 plus 19 plus 17. And this is going to be 60 minus 415. 53. The person will necessarily reach the fifth karmic period with 53 up to 70, 52. Okay? And this is what we call the latecomers. The latecomers is something that the person will have like 30 years and it stills on the second karmic period. My son is going to reach the fifth karmic period at the age of 69. This is kind of problematic for the society, not for the person necessarily. And if we are aware of this pulse of time, we are not going to be bothered. Because that person is living in a different um, refraction of time. Okay? One, one type of uh, people is going to be the shortcomers that are the people that are born in the end of Venus Mahadasha, the type 2. And the other um, big contrast with the mean is going to be being born in the first as your sons are in the first pada of Arahu. That will be um, the 640 degrees up to 10 degrees of Mituna, Gemini, Libra, Tula, and Aquarius, Kumba. Okay? When the moon is on between those degrees. And usually that those kind of people will will have a I go beer no soy contra. It will have a tendency to say to society that society is not what is what is should be or Rahu is the pointer. This is wrong, this is faulty, this is not one it, this is not true, this is a problem, okay? Not necessarily what everything Rahu is pointing is going to be um, true, but Rahu doesn't care what people will say. Rahu doesn't care what people will feel when he points. Okay? That is the power, the Shakti of Rahu, and this is not necessarily very comfortable. Okay? So in the first karmic period, there is going to be a tendency of life being changed in a, a abrupt, I wouldn't say, but in a, in a expressive manner, okay? And those people will usually be with parents that move from one place, from one country to another culture. There is a general trend in this uh, in this framework. This will not necessarily be bad, okay? But the person will have a sensation of non-belongingness. Non-belongingness is an important trait of Rahu period, okay? If it's the first, or if it's the second, or if it's the fifth, non-belongingness is going to be, just like Ketu, an uh, important uh, feature of Rahunian period. But Rahu will say, I don't belong here. Let's change so that I can belong. 
cat will say, I don't belong here, let's leave. Okay? The feeling of non-belongingness is the same. But how is the reaction? One is inward, another is outward. Okay? So, let's move. It will reach from 52 to 70. And it will have uh, the fifth karmic period and it will have Ketu as the fifth karmic director. The impact of Ketu being the fifth karmic director will, will put a, a question mark on success, on fame, on social prestige, on being a millionaire, on being, of being in a uh, highlighted position. The person maybe will get tired of success. Om Gura Venama.